guys welcome back to another episode of my sims in bloom challenge i feel <laughs> kind of weird um recording this episode i waited till the last episode was live before i recorded this one because i really really wanted to see your guys comments and feedbacks in regards to the last episode and also the one before that i suppose um as you guys know poppy has been a total mess recently a hot freaking steam pile mess and as much as I've tried to put her on the right pathway, she's just not listening to me. She wants to woohoo with anyone. She does not like have any morals at the moment. Um, and I think at the end of the day, all of her friends and roommates and people that are just around her are sort of fed up with her behavior. And even though a lot of you guys were saying that you didn't really feel like it was entirely Poppy's fault, which I do agree with because she wasn't the sole culprit. Um, it takes two to tango and she was one of those two so it definitely is part her fault and she should have known better at the very least so i am mad at poppy and today we're going to get into some fixins all right so at the moment poppy has just come in and decided to sleep on the end of leah's bed i don't know if leah is exactly chatting with her i think where we left things off leah was kind of apologizing for her behavior but she's still not happy with poppy she doesn't forgive poppy and i think at the end of the day Leah wants some space from Poppy. I think deep down Leah is like such a good friend and she doesn't want to abandon Poppy but she knows that Poppy really needs to get help for herself. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So my whole plan for this situation is I feel like Poppy just needs to get out of the city and just to like go somewhere else for a bit away from all of her friends just so she can like calm down and reflect on her behavior. Although I don't want to move her out of the city until Thursday because I want to wait until she ages up into an adult before I move her out of this apartment, even if it is a temporary move. Um, just because as part of the rules for this generation, she does have to go to every single festival as while she is a young adult and I don't want to move her somewhere else and then have to travel back to the city. It just doesn't make sense for me. So I'm taking it as Poppy is planning to move out, not fully move out but she's she's going to move away for a little bit and she's just sorting out her job and she's just sorting out you know the apartment so she's planning to move out on thursday on her birthday but we have a couple of days until then so she'll probably be in the house this episode and the next episode i think i'm going to move her out i think i'm going to move her back in with her parents for a little bit um with flora i think it'll be good for poppy to get some time away from leah and time away from everyone else um, and Flora as well, probably, to just see her grandparents before they pass away. And as for Leah, well, she's really, really happy. As you know, she walked on someone you really care about f with someone else. Oh, right, she witnessed the woohooing between her and Zara. Right, right, right. Well, the almost woohooing. Hello, Tofu. <laughs> um, as for Leah, you guys were kind of hoping she could get into a relationship to help her move on from Puppy. As much as I don't think that's a good idea, Leah is not getting any younger and I'm not saying you have to be in a relationship, but she aged up into an adult like a couple weeks ago in game and how is she looking on her age line? Okay, so she has 34 days until she ages up. This feels wrong. <laughs> Am I playing on long lifespan? No, it's normal. That's weird. Okay, well, she's got more time than we thought, but I still feel like Leah, she has always been about wanting to find love. So I feel like she would kind of rush into it when it's the right person. So as much as I'm not necessarily just trying to pair her up with someone, I do think I want to get Leah to try and find someone um, to get her mind off Poppy. So I'm going to get her to go out on a couple of dates today. A lot of you guys were suggesting that she might be a good match for Maeve or for Joy, which I thought was really interesting because she obviously hated Joy. But then in the last episode, Leah and Joy kind of got to talking and realized they both wanted the same thing. So today I'm going to send Leah on a date with Maeve and Joy and I'm going to see how they get along. And then if she ends up vibing with one of them, that can potentially be her partner. Otherwise, I will keep an eye on the dating app and see if any new people pop through that she might be interested in um but yeah that's it that's really really long intro <laughs> sorry guys um but i'm gonna let these guys sleep and then i'm gonna come back in the morning all right so even though it's only four o'clock in the morning um flora's in here doing her homework i think the perfect thing for poppy to do would be come over and actually help with her homework today it's time for you to be a good mother and <laughs> show your daughter how to be a good person. So she's gonna help Flora with her homework a little bit this morning. And then I think I'm actually gonna get her working on some of her skills. Um, she's not gonna talk to anyone today. Um, Leah's obviously in the household, but I don't want her like 
really chatting with Leoth all that much, so I think I'm just going to get her to stay in her room, work on some videos, kind of isolate a little bit um, until she's feeling a little bit better. Oh look, she's got this moodlet from Tutoring. Cute, great teacher. Oh, I can help you with your homework. I was really good at school when I was younger. I didn't really have many friends, so it was the only thing I could focus on. I'm also going to grab this video we got last time and transfer that over to our video station to edit today. I'm going to get her to study some trends as well and see what's popping. Might do some trends today. Flora's completed her homework. Yay! Okay, Flora, off you go get some food. And luckily for us, Leah is off at work today so she can go into work this morning. Okay, so tech reviews, programming, video gaming, and a dazed vlog are trending today. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin recording, and I'm going to get Poppy to play some video games so we can get a video. Leah's leaving that room. Okay, we can hop in. She's stressed as well, so I think it'll be good. Let's play some Sims forever. <laughs> Poppy is Poppy is just mirroring exactly what I'm doing right now, except for I don't have a face cam <laughs> or a drone. Okay. Oh, this is kind of cute. She's like almost streaming. She's like making videos. And then I think Leah's in the next room, like potentially streaming. Are you off to work today or are you not going? Oh, she doesn't start yet. Okay. Hey, sweetie, we're coming over to see the little one help out how we can. What do you mean? Flora is a whole ass child now. What do you mean help with the little one? <laughs> I mean, I just installed a Sims update. So I'm wondering if it's gotten confused or something. Sometimes these updates conflict with mods, um, so it definitely could be that, but I'm going to end our recording now. We've played video games for a bit, and our mummy's here. We'll come and say hi to her. Oh, you're coming and staying over. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, welcome. You know what? This probably is a good thing. I'm assuming Leah called her and was like, Poppy needs you to come over. <laughs> so, hey. Hey, mom. Hey, sis. Let's just banter with her for a little bit and have a good old chat. Ask Posey to relax and I also want to welcome Rose as well. Oh, cute. I'm glad she's got her family around, which is nice. They'll never judge her. Okay, so she's uploading the video that she did last night and now she's uploading the second one to the video station. I do want to edit this one so we get more views. Flora should be off to school today. I think she's just playing over here. Yeah, there she goes. But she'll be off to school today, so no problems with that. Oh, you look so cute today, Flora. She looks very proper. Who dressed you? <laughs> not us. Definitely not us. Leah leaked the confidential update that is highly secretive. Oh, no. Come clean. She got a performance game for come clean. Always come clean, guys. Always. Add effects to this one as well, Pops. All right. Leah's home from work today. I'm going to see if she can come and say hey to... Rosie, um, are they still here? And Rose as well. Come welcome Rose, welcome Prozy. <laughs> Everyone's video gaming. Prozy, you're not supposed to be a video gamer. <laughs> Where has this come from? Okay, that's better. She's doing some exercise. Once we finish this, I might head out for the day. Is there any festivals on today as well? Oh my God, they're staying over for a long time. <laughs> we actually have the Humor and Hijinks Festival on tonight, so we'll definitely be having to go to that. Oh my gosh, and our dad's supposed to be staying over too, and Rory. Why did the whole family come? That's so weird. This is definitely glitched out, like for sure. Um, Flora, she's going to make some friends today. Okay, effects have been added. Let's go ahead and now upload this video. And I'm also going to post some updates and reply to some comments on our last video and also just hype our next video. Uh, hey mom, I see you put your active wear on. Did you want to go for a jog maybe outside? Might be nice. It's good weather for it. It's quite hot out. Hopefully Posey will follow us. She's supposed to be with us for our jog, but she hasn't showed up. Okay, that's all right. Let's just get our jog on. Hopefully, maybe mum's just a bit slow because she's a bit elderly. So we're just running ahead a little bit, but hopefully she'll come and catch up with us. I don't know where she's off to. She may have had a nap or something. Who knows? We should come watch this performance over here once we're done. Oh God, dad just called us and said, hey, you and Zara are good friends now. You're, <laughs> you're getting more popular. Clearly a good person to know. No, dad, you've got the wrong information. Oh my gosh, is this literally Zara? How embarrassing. <sighs> there you go. I wonder what you're gonna get. Oh, awesome. All right, time for you to head home then. Go to the bathroom. All right, so we have a couple hours until the... So what was it? The Human Hijinks Festival is on tonight. So I'm thinking I'm going to take this opportunity for Leah to head over and just get out of the house and visit some of these guys. <gasps> Wait, let's go and knock politely because who is woohooing in their apartment? Hello? Zara was outside for a jog. 
Yeah, she's curious. She's like, oh, I heard some weird noises. I'm going to come over and see what's going on over here. Maeve, who are you woohooing with in there? Um, hey, do you think we can come and visit you? I'm just going to go by myself, but I want to go into her apartment and see who she's woohooing with. Okay, so it looks like the only people home were Zara and Maeve. Um, but I don't know if she was woohooing like self woohoo or she's woohooing with Zara because Zara was out for a jog. Like we saw that, right? <laughs> and now Maeve has suddenly disappeared. Zara is outside though, but I don't think that Leah really wants to talk to her at the moment. She's probably a bit annoyed. Um, where is Maeve though? Okay, here she is. I had to invite her over. She like left for some reason, but I want to come and check in on her and see how she's doing. Um, I'll give her a little Somalian gift. We'll be like, oh, we were supposed to give this to you at the wedding, but obviously it fell through, but I still wanted to give you this money because obviously you guys are now separating and I want to make sure if, you know, whatever happens, you're supported. So we'll give her some Somalians. <laughs> Hopefully she enjoys it. Um, and I just want to be really nice to her. You guys were interested in these guys potentially going on a date. So I want to see if that was an option. I don't think that Maeve is going to be ready to date anyone, but we're going to try and calm her down and see if she's okay. She's in an angry mood though. Yeah, I think she may be way too angry. Like this is way too soon. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to add Maeve to my household for a second, like control her and just see what she's feeling. Cause obviously at the wedding, we only saw things through Zara's point of view. Oh. They are not doing well though. She doesn't have any romance with anyone else, which is good. Oh, well, it's good, but it's also kind of sad because we know that's not how <laughs> um, Zara was feeling. Zara had romance with a couple of the people. But for some reason, she's not actually that upset about the whole like engagement wedding getting called off. She's just angry because it's hot outside. So I wonder if I change her into a hot weather, she'll feel a little bit better. Yeah, she's not really happy about us being here. I think she probably is still caught up on Zara still. She's like angry. It's just not the time for it. I'm going to get her to go for a walk and then I'm going to remove her from my control. Um, we just wanted to come over and check up on you, but I can see that you're just not feeling the best. So we'll get out of your hair. If you need any help with the kids, just like give a shout. Um, we have a little Trevor Juan and Samuel, I think the little baby is called. Yeah, Samuel over here. Um, oh, human chidings festival's on. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly head over to um, Joy's apartment though first because I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. <laughs> hey, Joy, it's Leah. Can I come in? All right, let's come over and see how she's doing. Oh, we're getting invited to the human <laughs> hijinks festival. No, we're gonna head there ourselves later. I don't know who you are, sir. Um, we're actually becoming quite good friends with Joy. Um, so I'm gonna sort of just gossip about the neighbors and be like, oh, I just went over to see Maeve and see how she's doing after the wedding. And yeah, unfortunately, like she's just not in the mood to talk to any of us yet, but I hope you're doing well. It was so nice to see you at the wedding. The lights in here are freaking crazy bright. Okay, she feels a little bit better now. These guys are chatting. They seem to be getting along pretty well, which is nice. Um, we do have to go to the Human Hidings Festival. So I am going to just bring Poppy here um, and then I'm going to get these guys to all go together. But they're going to be going separately together. They're all just going to be going to the festival. Okay, here we are. Joy, what the heck are you wearing? I feel like this is not even one of her outfits, so I'm beyond confused at this point. <laughs> I don't know what she's wearing. She has so many different outfits and I don't know why she would pick that one, but that's fine. Um, pop your hot weather back on since it's hot today. And honestly, Leah, I'm just going to cheat up your sleep a little bit because well, I want you to have a good time. So I think the best thing to do is to get Leah and Joy to join the Jokesters. And I'm going to get Poppy and Posey to join the Pranksters. I'm going to have to grab po Posey, I think. All right, so here we are. All the townies are out. <gasps> Got some fireworks and this lady we met the other day, she looks like she's getting married. <laughs> Poppy would probably want to come over and say hey to Joy, wherever she's off to mm -hmm. over here. I'm going to get her to come over and just kind of um, have a deep conversation. Oh my gosh, she just came over and scared her. <laughs> she's, well, I guess they're at the Human Hijinks Festival. So she's like, oh, how are you doing? She likes mischief. Oh, we know it. She, we know she likes mischief. Come on now. But we're like, how are you doing, Joy? It's been a while since we've seen you. Um... We'll swap baby milestone stories and just talk to her a little bit about Flora. 
I think Puppy's gonna be like, oh, I'm actually thinking now that Flora's a little bit older, did you wanna maybe like take her for a weekend? Joy's like, oh, no, I don't wanna confuse her or anything. Like she knows she's supposed to be with you. I've made my decision like a long time ago. So I, wanna really, I really wanna stick with her. I don't wanna confuse her. I think Flora knows that Joy's her mom, but she doesn't like, it's, I don't know, the situation's complicated. Essentially Joy is like taking a backseat in her life and she still hangs out with Flora and she comes to a lot of events and stuff, but he doesn't have like full custody over Flora. And what is happening over here? Are you telling jokes to this guy? I think he must be. <laughs> what is this mood that you've got? It's hard to be honest him who cheated on Leah and broke her heart. Oh, cause Poppy's here. Okay, well we'll come and chat with Joy then. Hey, okay, we're taking a selfie with her too. He's like, I usually take selfies with Poppy at all these events, but yeah, I'm not really talking to her at the moment. So these guys are gonna take a selfie together instead. All right, Pops, you need to just do some humor and hijinks things. You actually want to maybe... Is that your dad? What are these townie outfits that I'm getting today? They're like terrible randomized outfits. Hey, Dad. Um, how are you doing? <laughs> all these old ladies are giving him like the howdy introductions, which is interesting. And oh my gosh. Okay, so we've all decided to sit together. I think Rosie's come over and she's like, do you mind if we sit with you, ladies? Poppy's like, this is so awkward, but we'll be nice. Um, Joy's like, don't worry, Leo. Don't worry, Leo, I'm here. <laughs> this guy seems to really fancy Leo, I think. He's been following around all night. Too bad she is not interested at all. So surprisingly enough, Leo's actually been chatting with Marissa a little bit, who we met last time at the club. She's probably catching up with her and she's like, oh my gosh. I love your dress. Oh, it's so nice to see you again. Poppy's like, how do you guys know each other? And like, oh, we met at like a random, I went on a bad date and then Marissa showed up and she actually saved me from my bad date <laughs> with the catfish. So yeah, I definitely owe you. Um, I know we're supposed to be out here like trying to get to know Joy a little bit, but I feel like Leah's like, oh, are you, are you single by any chance? Cause I would love to take you for a coffee. Cause I kind of owe you one. I'll see if she's single. I mean, these guys actually been chatting quite a lot tonight. So could be a potential option for love interest. She is single, okay. Okay, so things are going pretty well. Um, I did get a bunch of romance and then randomly something awkward happened. So now they're having an awkward encounter. So I might actually cancel it here before they ruin any of the romance that they've brought upon themselves. Actually, they're feeling a bit better now, but I just got a random note of over here because <laughs> it says that Joy and Poppy have become good friends. Like, hello? Why, why are you guys chatting up here in the tattoo shop? What is going on? <laughs> and Joy's actually chatting with Posey, which I think is really interesting. Okay, so the night is over, but I'm just getting Leah to exchange numbers with Marissa now, because I want to see if we can take her out on a date maybe tomorrow. Hopefully she accepts it. This is the last thing I'm doing, because oh, a bit of an awkward encounter. I don't know what's happened there. I mean, it was still good. She's tired. <laughs> okay, I'm going to send all of these guys home. Um, Poppy and Joy, for some reason... Wait, wait, what do you mean you, there's a child on the way? With who? Oh my god, Joy's dating someone. I didn't even look at your relationships over here. <gasps> Joy's literally dating someone. What? Oh my gosh, she's already gone home. Wait, bring Joy here. Who? You must. I think Joy's pregnant with this Jaden person. Pregnancy. No partners. Wait, what? Are you having a science baby then? Who are you having a baby with? <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, so Flora's gonna have a little brother or sister. I, was it a girl? I think it's sister. Um, interesting. Okay, Joy. But yeah, Joy's got a love interest, Jaden. I didn't even realize that Joy was seeing anyone, which is interesting. Okay, well, we'll see. I guess that's not gonna work out then for Leah. So I guess we're just gonna head home then. Okay, so we're back home. She's fixing Flora's dollhouse, which she's very upset that she destroyed. And she made some new friends today, did you? That's nice. Did you want to invite the boys over? Oh, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Actually, Flora, go to bed. <laughs> you can invite the boys over tomorrow. And I think Poppy probably needs to head to bed too. I'm just going to grab her some food really quickly first. All right. So Leah is back from work this morning. She had work pretty early this morning. And she got, uh, what was her name? Marissa's number yesterday at the festival. So I'm actually going to call Marissa and see if she wants to come on a date with us today. Okay, so we're just asking her on a date now. Like, oh, I had so much fun with you yesterday. Would you be willing to go on a, a date? Oh, she said no. She's like, oh, I don't really have the time for it. Sorry. Um, Maybe we can like get to know each other a little bit more first. I don't know if she's... I feel so bad for Leah. Oh. 
So I think that Marissa is in an open relationship because they're married and they also uh, have a relationship with someone else. Maybe they were like willing to flirt with Leah, but when then they found out Leah wanted a bit more of a serious relationship, they're like, oh, sorry, like, I would be happy to be with you, but you have to know I'm like in an open relationship. Um, I don't know if Leah's gonna be super comfortable with that at all. I was kind of hoping things would work out, but again, like it's sort of hard when, I don't know, they could become good friends. It might be good for someone, to Le for Leah to date someone like Marissa for a little bit though, just to sort of get her head back in the game. Uh, may as well just come inside. Um, Maeve's actually come over. Maybe she, she's feeling a bit better today, so I'll chat with Maeve for a bit and see how she's doing. Okay, so Maeve actually has the loyal trait, which is what I've just learned, which is definitely a good thing. And now they're randomly doing love hearts. Hello? I didn't even schedule anything. I did ask if she was single, but she didn't answer the question, which is weird. She just got, I just got a love heart from it. I want to see if she's single, because I want to see where her and... Zara officially fit. Oh yeah, so she is single. Okay. And she's actually having a pleasant conversation with us. I don't want to try and rush things, but I do want to see if we do flirt with her, whether it's something she's interested in or not. Oh, Rue's just standing here. So, okay. So she is accepting our flirt, which is nice. There goes Joy. <laughs> I feel like everyone's here today. Okay, I'm going to exchange stuff with Maeve and be like, I'm really sorry about everything that happened. I'm really sorry everything Poppy put you through. I want you to know that I'm not on Poppy's side. Like, I'm mad at her too. And if you need anything at all, like, here's my number. I would love to, like, meet up with you and talk this through. I know what it's like to... Well, I don't exactly know what it's like to be cheated on. But I feel like I can empathize with you a little bit, at least. But mainly I'm here to support you. So um, I'm going to hold hands with Maeve and see if she's okay with that. Be like... You really deserve the best. So these guys are having a little bit of a flirt now. And Maeve is not with anyone else, which we know. Plus she's loyal. I feel like Maeve is going to be a good fit for Leah. I know you guys are like, oh, seriously. <laughs> I tried dating someone outside of the circle. And they were already married and had an extra lover. So I feel like... I feel like these guys would be really suited together, to be honest. You know what? Do you want to... Do you maybe want to get out of here and go for a quick date now? Like, I don't want to push anything too far, but I'll see if she says yes. Oh my gosh, the flower bunny's full <laughs> throwing petals at us. It's a sign. Would you be willing to go out on a date then? Oh, you're tired. Here, I fixed you up. <gasps> she said yes. Oh my god. Okay, so here we are. And honestly, I don't really want to make these guys flirt at all. I'm literally just going to see what they want to do. I assume we're asking to Ruhu or something. Oh yeah, they're lining up flirts. Um, <laughs> I don't want them to flirt too much straight away because they've just got out of a relationship. So I'm going to ask her about her relationship goals and see where she's at. She said, I haven't really thought about that stuff to be honest. I'm like, okay, we understand. Like you've just got out of a relationship. She's like, yeah, I don't really know like what's next for me. I'm sort of just taking the day as it happens, let's discuss our favorite artist. But she's like, it's really nice that we can come out though, Leah. Like, I'm really happy to chat with you. I know we have all these date things to do, but I think I just kind of want to keep it mainly friendly unless they do it autonomously. Oh God, <laughs> I literally brought them to the spot where they, <laughs> um, they may have cheated on. This is so awkward. I didn't mean to come here. Oh well. Let's go inside and have a dance. We'll get our mind off everything, yeah? I've been in pain, you've been in pain. Come on, this is the best thing for us. Maybe she brought it here on purpose. She's like, I'm bringing you here on purpose because I want you to try and get over everything that happened. You can be an insider. That's fine. So let's just like gossip um, about neighbors and kind of just ask her like, are there any other signs? Because Poppy actually told me a couple months ago that Zara came onto her, but we didn't tell you because well, I'm really sorry. I didn't tell you at the time, but I just didn't, I just, you know, Zara said she'd tell you herself and Maeve's like, oh, I had an inkling that there was something going on, but I just really wanted to trust her. And then, of course, she, like, betrayed me on, like, our friggin' wedding night. Like, come on, we already put the deposit down. Could she have done it earlier? Like, and they're kind of making a joke about it. Um, we'll have a deep conversation. We both got to become playful. <laughs> so we do have to kind of be funny. Let's do, do an impression and try and cheer her up. But already Leah, she's, like, totally digging me from exchanging numbers and deep conversation. I do have to flirt three times, so I am just going to do like a bold pickup line. But I'm not going to do any more flirts. I just want to get this one ticked off. It's so nice coming out with you tonight. It's such a breath of fresh air to be around someone who just like doesn't like the drama. 
and you obviously seem like such a loyal sim. Like, I can't believe we haven't come out sooner to get to know each other. Oh, I feel like these. Oh, is she flirting? Oh, she's being silly. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, they want to slow dance together. All right, so our date is literally about to wind up now. Um, we've got like probably like 10 seconds left, five minutes in sim time, which is now. And we had a goal date, which is really nice. So I want to tell Maeve, like, oh, I'd love to see you again, maybe when you're feeling a bit better about everything. Um, it's really nice to like get to know you finally. Like I know we've been neighbors for so long, but get to know you in like a different way. I've always seen Maeve and Zara as like, a couple and we haven't really got to know them like independently um oh crap i gotta remove this lady from my household Alrighty, so we are now back in the apartment and i'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here so let me know what you guys thought of today's episode um and let me know what you think of our plans if you guys like today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye